When you look at the ACC right now, is it Florida State and everybody else in your mind, or do you think Clemson's going to be back a little bit, even though I still have questions about their skill position players? Yeah, no, no, it's not. It's not anyone and then the field to me in the ACC. Uh, I Look, we put out that blue chip ratio last week. Mm-hmm. A bud does that every year, and it would just be foolish to ignore a team that is top five in the blue chip ratio, which is just the amount of four and five star caliber talent you have on your roster relative to not. Um, I would never do that. And here's what's fascinating about that. So there's never been a team in the history of, you know, the college football playoff and and beyond that, really, that's won a national title being below 50 percent on the blue chip ratio. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting because Florida State's at 38 percent. And when you account for the transfers, they're still at 41 percent. So it would be like a Berlin Wall moment in the pantheon of like modern day college football if Florida State were to go win a national title with a roster that relatively unskilled compared to the Georgias and Bamas, et cetera, of the world. Well, what about the conference, uh, though? Just the ACC conference, not the right. Natty, uh, just the conference. So when you wrap it back around to the conference, but it's the same point. So when I'm looking at those comparatively, I'm looking at a team in Florida State and I'm looking at a team in Clemson. Here's the big conversation here. Um, I would actually, I don't know where I lean there. I actually may lean slightly Florida State there, but think about this. If we get to December and Florida State has won that conference, right now this conversation has not happened, um, has not really happened hardcore within these fan bases. It's happened nationally. The transfer portal conversation, Mm -hmm. these two programs have gone about it diametrically opposed. Florida State has put their roster together leaning on the portal. Dabo has voluntarily shirked the portal, as Meemaw would say, and (laughs) you're, you're so far... You're not paying any price because Florida State has not overtaken you. They've not won the conference. They've not beaten you in route to doing it. But if they do beat them in Clemson in week four, and then they go on to win the conference, you want to, you won't have to talk about it nationally or regionally. Clemson's own fan base will start to turn and, and look at the emperor and say, it, it's not illegal. They're not doing anything illegal. The rules allow you to use the portal, and you're just going to continue to turn your back on it out of like some principled stance you took. Well, it's, it's your job to put our program in the best, in the best position to win. And, and if it does not yield a result this year, that will be the conversation. You're just going to continue yep. to ignore the portal? That would be tough. Yeah, very true, because you're losing justification for doing that. Imagine a warm breeze all on your face as you lounge in your favorite chair outside. Mm. The grill sizzling. Oh, with ju- the juiciest burgers. For joy. The aroma. <laughs> Of the food is irresistible, mm. and your mouth waters. I'm doing it, Peter. Waters like the rivers of ancient Babylon as you Babylon. wait for it to be cooked to perfection. Now imagine what this perfect summer night would look like if you went to turn on the grill, and the propane tank is <gasps> empty. No! <laughs> that's, that's where our friends at Cinch come in clutch. Cinch is a propane grill tank home delivery service. They deliver propane tanks right to your door on your schedule and they don't require any long-term commitment. It's good for you, Fleming. Or subscription. Plus, delivery is completely contactless, especially if you're like Howie from Benchwarmers. The sun's bad. You don't want to wait around at home. Track the order on the Cinch app everywhere. So the perfect summer night wouldn't get, be complete without Cinch. So go to cinch.com, that's C-Y-N-C-H.com, or download the Cinch app and use promo code BOOSTER, B-O-O-S-T-E-R, to get your first tank exchange for just $10. That's C-Y-N-C-H.com. Promo code booster, B W O S T E R. This is a limited time offer. You must live within the Cinch service area to redeem it. Visit cinch.com slash offer for details. Hit the gun. There it yeah. is. Man. Ah! Look. <laughs> <laughs> well, while you guys are talking about the ACC, I mean, Josh, you were just down at Miami. You know, Mario Cristobal entering year two, five and seven a year ago. What was your biggest takeaway from being down there, and what is your expectation for the Hurricanes? They feel they feel better uh, this upcoming year than they did last year. I think they feel like if they can get to 2024, that's the team that they feel will really explode. Uh, crazier things have happened, obviously. But, man, there's there's a lot of – there's a lot of not beating around the bush in that in that building right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they are they are not shy about telling you we've still got some folks here that probably need to explore other options. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's a weeding out process. Um, they kept Van Dyke. You know, we're talking about that whole NIL retention system. Don't yeah. overlook the fact that they were able to keep Tyler Van Dyke 
because if they didn't keep him, I sat down with their offensive coordinator for like an hour, and he he made no bones about the fact that if we don't keep him, like if I don't have him, we're, we're screwed. Like yeah. what, what in the world are we going to do? So they got the quarterback uh, who who was oil and water last year and with when it comes to the other offensive coordinator they had in the building, which was another point that I took away, and that is just listening to Mario Cristobal off the record very plainly, but even on the record, talk about how we just didn't hire the right coordinators, especially mm-hmm. offensively. We didn't have the right coordinators. We knew it early on in the season. There's nothing you can do. It's not like you can just hit the dump button and eject out of a bad decision. But think about that. Think about trying to build a program, but you you just have a false start with a couple of coordinator hires. Uh, that, that gets you exactly what it got them last year. But um, two other things. One, the left tackle, Francis Mauagoa, the five-star left tackle they signed, probably started right tackle this year. Never seen anything like him. I'm really? around all those big programs, around Bama and Georgia constantly. Um, I watched him run pass routes. You heard me right. And he is as fluid as a wide receiver. He just happens to be carrying 335 pounds with him. He is, he is over there leading position drills, not 18 years old yet, leading position drills with that offensive line. And from, from day one, he walks in, they said, he's the best player we have here. And that's a 17-year-old. The yeah. other thing is I um, – I think it's so fascinating when you when you see people with the right mentality, a true freshman class come in, because we've seen it when Saban took over at Bama. I remember hearing these stories when, when like that first true freshman class came in immediately, like the Julio Jones class, just immediately. It didn't matter that there were fifth year seniors on the roster. The true freshman class looked totally different and acted totally different and in time took over the roster that year. That's what it feels like at Miami. And if you got to go through a, a few more growing pains to do that in the short term, they don't have to worry about job security down there. I mean, they are, they're fully invested, fully committed, kind of a 10-year plan sort of thing. Um, I think that the formula is still there to win, and that's where I'm in the minority a little bit. Some people don't think you can do at Miami what you used to do. I think every box it takes to win in college football is still able to be checked down there. Yeah. It just hasn't been, but has not and cannot. Two totally different things. Yeah. On the coordinator hire, there were a lot of people in Michigan that weren't mad to see Josh Gaddis go take that coordinator spot down at Miami. Hey, YouTube, thanks for checking us out. If you didn't know, we do a live sports show the way you like it, you know, where it's mainly about sports and common sense. Uh, From 6.30 to 8 a.m. Central, that's 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern. Come join us. We take live calls Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We have a live chat, a.k.a. the Booster Club or the Trust Tree, where you can come under the wing and into our hearts. So make sure you subscribe. Turn that notification bell on and hit that like button. We really appreciate it.